ascoltatori di Radio Kiss Kiss, è una serata meravigliosa, ci troviamo un'altra serata di quelle, una figata, le State of Trance qui al Privilege in Ibiza, insieme a Marisol ovviamente, soltanto per voi su Radio Kiss Kiss, è stasera molto speciale per me perché è veramente un onore stare insieme a uno degli artisti della Trance, artisti dell'Electronic Music per tantissimi anni, uno dei pionieri di questo genere, lui è Paul Ockenfold here with us on Radio Kiss Kiss, welcome to Radio Kiss Kiss Paul and thanks for being with us. Hi, how are you? I'm very fine. You look better than me. You look, uh, you know, like a little rest. You've been on a holiday. You've been going to the beach. No, Not just really? out all night long and no sun. Uh, no sun at all. Well, it's okay. Now you will have time to go to the beach a little bit. Well, thank you very much again for being with us on Radio Kiss Kiss. We're from Italy and we're very honored to have you on our radio station. You've been a DJ for uh, many years. A uh, long time you have collaborated with humongous artists around the world. Uh, you have done uh, um, soundtracks for movies, video games and many other things. But I would like to know uh, which of these collaborations that you have done throughout your career has given you the most satisfaction? That's a good question, actually. Um, wow, I'd, I'd probably Hunter S. Thompson. Pure, well, for a few reasons. I mean, he's not a singer. Um, yeah, I don't know if all your listeners are familiar with him, but he's a writer. So it's a big challenge to uh, write music around dialogue. And I found him a fascinating character and... It was a big challenge to to pull that uh, collaboration off. He'd never done anything in terms of recording vocals and uh, writing music around it. And the subject matter, we needed something that was a reference to youth culture, but also kept the integrity of what he was about and what, he's, uh, what he does and, and what he writes about so it, it, it was a, there was a lot of components to make it work that's a thing that have touched you in your throughout your career and personally probably but you've been coming to Ibiza you've been traveling around the world for many years because of your job because of being a DJ producer uh, how do you find the the change that the electronic music has uh, been um, in having in these past 10 years probably Well, I mean, electronic music is in a is in a great place at the moment. It's probably the most healthy it's it's been um, in a long, long while. America has now fully embraced what we've all been doing in Europe for 20 years. Las Vegas is the I, I, I'd certainly say what it be for is to Europe. Las Vegas is to America. It's the hub. Every night you've got international DJs all holding down residences, pool parties. So there's a lot of changes that have gone on. And mainstream radio, house music has become pop music. Mainstream radio plays mainly house rhythms with different singers from different genres on top. Yeah, but and, you know, in America particularly, you know, as you said, it's growing, electronic music, it's the boom of the moment. Do you think that it will last since that America is uh, all about consumism, consuming? Uh, oh, yeah, it will last, definitely. I mean, it, it's, it's not going to go away. It's, it's now became mainstream, and once something becomes mainstream, it's generally there for a while. Um, And it's fresh, it's new, it's exciting, and that's why people like it. And more and more people every day are discovering this music uh, in America and wanting to know more about it. So it's becoming very, very popular there. What about the crowd? What difference can you find between the Ibiza crowd and the rest of the world crowd? Well, this is the, the, the hub for electronic music globally has been for many years people have got when they come to this island they've got an understanding of of the music if they are coming to go to go and clubbing they've got an understanding of music they've got history they know the djs they know who they want to go and listen to what dj specializes in what sound i mean the two biggest nights of the island are, are the techno nights i mean luciano's Is, is the biggest night at Pasha and Sven Vaff is the biggest night, uh, as you know, in Amnesia. But those guys in America don't do too well, you know. Um, 
And I think that's great that Ibiza has embraced the underground sound like it has through Europeans and people around the world who, if they don't know guys like that, they come here to go to their parties and they really enjoy them. Don't you think that maybe Visa has become a little bit more commercial in the past few years than the, it was before? Oh no, we'll maintain that. No, the, I think it's the opposite. Sorry, excuse me. Yeah, sure. I think it's the complete opposite. Techno has reared its head in a big, in a very big way. Uh, Richie Horton's night is on Thursday. Marco Carollo's night is on Friday. You've now got four major techno DJs all with their own nights uh, and that's really the most underground sound you're going to hear um, I like the idea of we've got a lot of DJs from around the world with all different sounds some Skrillex playing tomorrow you've got the big trance night tonight you've got more of the commercial DJs at Pasha doing what they do there um, There's, there's, there's music for everyone on this island. That's what's great about. It. There's actually so much to do. It's really hard to, you know, every yeah. and and also, you know, I, I'm here and I, I want to go and check out everyone else. And it's full on. It's like you're trying to do things in the day and in the night. It's really tiring. <laughs> yeah, you need a, probably a 48-hour day in order to do everything. You know, every but, time. But what has the big change in the island? I think. There's a new, two things. One, it's ridiculously expensive. And it's getting more expensive every day. Um, and I don't necessarily think the quality of, of everything's got that much better. It's just that they, they, they can get away with charging you a ridiculous amount of money for, for anything. I mean, it's crazy. But So that's a big change. Now that, 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 that's an issue. And then another big change is... This, there's a, there's a Shwaya, Leo, yes. there's the Hotel One opening next year. There's this whole new uh, environment that's occurring on the island and uh, you'll see more things. I'm sure over next year we're going to see a lot of new pop-up situations. Groucho's, one of the, London's formidable uh, clubs in, in has just opened a, a hotel across yes. the road so there's a lot of new things that are coming and doing well so it's innovative that uh, it, it, you know it's a need of that you need to keep it changing and keeping yeah. you know like energetic as usual here in Ibiza uh, Paul you travel around the world obviously you uh, play and spin in the super important clubs all over the globe. Do you have any favorite one that you really, you know, every tour that you do or at least twice a year you have to go? Uh, my favorite club is Zouk in Singapore. Singapore. Yeah, I mean, my friends, he owns it and he really, he's been going for 20 years, he really cares about his club. So he's constantly every year trying to add something to it. Every five years here, redo the whole uh, uh, inside of it. And, He updates the sound system. He really keeps on top of it. And it's a pleasure to play there. You started very young uh, DJing. What uh, brought you to do that? What, what, how your passion grew for DJing and producing? I just had a love of music, really. My dad was a musician. And for me, it was... Uh, I like the idea of playing new music, constantly changing music. And... When you're in a band, you're playing your, your same music all the time. And I was in a little band, and we weren't that good, actually. So uh, I probably, that's probably why I ended up being a DJ. Uh, but no, I, 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 I do like the idea of getting something new today or making something new today and playing it tonight. It's, it's a special feeling. Did you study music? Is there a particular uh, instrument that you play? I, I didn't study music, but I had piano and guitar lessons. I play mm -hmm. instruments, but no, I didn't study it. Oh, well, the piano lessons probably help a lot in the studio, you know, with the, with the keyboards yeah. and everything in order to produce. So, um, what about the South America? Have you ever been there? Because uh, I know you travel a lot uh, throughout uh, Europe, Asia and America. But what about South America? Because right now the crowd of electronic music over there, it's huge. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to uh, South America. I've been there a lot, many, many times. I toured there with Madonna. 
Yes. I'm on tour now with Madonna and we're going back. So um, I'm a big fan of South America. Buenos Aires is actually my favourite city in the world. So any excuse to go down there, I'm there. <laughs> Let's tango there, no? Yeah, it's fantastic. A lot of people love Buenos Aires, especially because it has such an energy. Everybody, you know, for the club, you know, club guys, it's super cool. But Brazil, what's going on with Brazil? Brazil is, is it's, it's a strange one, Brazil. They're, they're, they're into very commercial electronic music. They're not, there's, there's not really an underground scene there. Um, You'll find it in other countries, but Brazil's, you know, they're the only country that speaks a different language to everyone else. I think mean, they have their own situation and they're, they're very much into the commercial side of electronic music. If you hadn't become a DJ, what profession do what profession you have chosen? Well, I'm a fully qualified chef. Oh, uh, yummy. So let's go cook something nice. I'm hungry. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. There you go. Uh, so... I was, I would be doing that. Okay. Do you have a passion of cooking? Uh, do yeah. you, when you're home, uh, what does a DJ do when, uh, what does a DJ when it's off? You know, for a time that you're not going to do anything, you're at home with the family. What do you do? I cook and watch movies. Oh, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what I do. Yeah. <laughs> Just chill out and produce. What about the studio? Because while you, you're, while you're touring, it's very difficult to keep up with the albums, new singles, uh, new tracks and collaboration. How do you divide your time in order to make all everything, you know, to make it, to work on everything? Uh, well, well I, I, I got a good balance. I mean, I, I, uh, I spend time, I don't DJ full time. Mm -hmm. So I, I'll spend time in the studio working on a soundtrack for a movie. I've got my new artist record that I'm trying to finish. So I, I won't go on the road for a long period of time unless like the Madonna tour comes up or, or, or something um, where I'll go to Europe for three weeks and then I'll spend the rest of the time in, in Los Angeles at home. Okay. Uh, what about Italy? Do you come often to spin yeah. there? No, eh? No, I don't come to Italy. Have you ever played there, though? I played them, yeah, I've played there all over Italy, but... Italians seem to be more into house music than trance. Yeah, that's true. So, I'd, it's not one of the, the most popular countries for the sound that I play, which I understand. Uh, so that's why I don't go there much. And I love the food there. <laughs> and if anyone's listening, they can invite me. I'll come. Good. We can give you some uh, cooking lessons, no? Yeah, no, we could do one. that. That would be nice. If I lived in Italy, I'd be really fat because <laughs> the pasta and pizza... Oh, great. And that's all I'll be doing is eating pasta, pizza and drinking wine. Well, the, definitely the trans situation in Italy, it's growing. So hopefully in the next few years, yes, it is. So uh, uh, hopefully in the next few years uh, we can have you, or maybe uh, next year, sure. uh, we could have you there playing because uh, we really love your music. What about tonight? Uh, where are you going to be spinning? Are you going to be doing a festival set or are you going to play longer? No, t tonight is it, 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 very in the bag. It's... It's pure trance. That's what the night's all about, you know. And giving the thing with Ibiza is, it, I, I, I've always felt you got to understand that people are here on holiday, so they want to hear a few of the familiar songs. Um, it's not about being cool and credible. I don't think any of It's about playing songs that people want to hear. They're on holiday. They want a great time. They're in that frame of mind. So, you know, I, I'll be playing tracks from my album and some big tracks that they're familiar with. What about your experience touring, uh, your experience touring with Madonna? Uh, have you seen the new tour? Oh, have yes, you, I was there three times I've saw it. Yeah. What do you think? I, I love it. I love her. You know, I've seen her many, many times, so I think he's one of the greatest entertainers on stage ever. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I think the shows, it, it, it really references where the world is today you know uh it, it, in terms of the darkness religion war uh and it, re 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 it represents that it's very compelling visually um and i like the twists and turns that she where she's taken familiar songs classic songs and done alternative versions so uh, it, it, it's good i mean i'm enjoying it on the road i'm very lucky I mean, I've produced the remixed and 
she's been wonderful to me. I mean, I, 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 and take me on tour, and so. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's such a great experience to be yeah, with her, probably. What about uh, future collaborations? I've just done my new single with Azealia Banks, oh, nice. which is very interesting. Um, is it out yet or? No. Uh, no. Comes out soon. Let us know that, you know, like we want to know that. I'll keep in touch with you because we're going to be following you, uh, doing everything for you to come uh, to Italy pretty soon because you, we need you over there. Come on, you know, like I cannot travel all the time to uh, follow Paul Alkenfall all over the world. You know, I need a budget as well to do my life. So this is <laughs> very difficult to follow you all uh, globetrotting. All right, that this is uh, Mr. DJ Paul Alkenfall for Radio Kiss Kiss. We're going to have so much fun for with you tonight at a state of trance here on Privilege directly from Ibiza. Uh, thank you very much again. Thank you. This is Marisol with you on Kiss Kiss in Ibiza. Sempre per voi su Radio Kiss Kiss. Vi mando un bacione e adesso a ballare insieme a Paul Akenfold. Hasta mañana.